Okay, we're all here and we're ready to talk about video number three. Yep, for Sheila. Streets of Rage 4 DLC. Now, we did a video earlier, which is what, like 24 minutes long, and it talked about the first two uh, videos, mm -hmm. which were about Estelle and Max and all the features for, uh, for their videos. And it got like 220 views for it. What do you think about it so far? You've seen all three videos. What do you think? Uh, it looked, it looked, uh, alright. Um, but like, mm, well, Siege of Rage wasn't really, wasn't really my forte on games, but I do, but I do enjoy the game, but it's not like, but, but it's not basically my favorite game I've, I've, I've played. Well, it depends. You know, like, you play other beat-em-ups besides Streets of Rage. I mean, do you like it, go, those other ones better than this one? Or, or do you like those better than Streets of Rage 4? Now, if, now, if it was beat-em-up-wise what my favorite beat-em-up is, it, then I might have to go for Streets of Rage. My well, favorite, depends. my Which favorite, my favorite being a mob would be, would be Streets of Rage. Oh, which one? Probably two or four. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody has their opinion on that part of the saga, but anyway. Now that Shiva's the third character, I keep thinking maybe they'll release another DLC um, based on, on on either the release date or what other features we might find on the DLC. I mean, they revealed a lot in the first DLC, in the first in the first in the first trailer about Estelle. You know, they talked a lot about Mr. X's nightmare what kind of weird stages we'll be playing in, what kind of weird weapons we'll be getting. Because it mentions new characters, new weapons, new stages. But, you know, it doesn't mention any of the things I want in the game. So I'm assuming those things are probably not even going to be available. Which is kind of fucked up because that's what, what I really wanted. But maybe, just maybe, they'll save that for when a Streets of Rage 5 comes out. I mean, you said it yourself. You got um, text messages or or, or, or or posts, comments to your to your to your um, to your um, thing, video. talking about yeah. yeah, talking about the video that we did last time. Because a lot of the fans want uh, um, the character Eddie Skate Hunter or or Eddie Hunter. Um, you know, um, Adam Hunter's uh, younger brother. They want him to be a playable character for 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 Streets of Rage, but he's not. I mean, they got his playable his playable silhouette in Streets Retro of Rage character. Two and Three for as playable as um, for for Part Four, which is pretty cool. But they want a new. You know, model like they did for all the others. What do you think? Is that a character you'd like to see? I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. Because I mean, they did one for Max. They did one for Axel. For Cherry, I think. I think. Did they do one for Cherry? Well, yeah, because Axel is one of the original characters from the get-go, and so is Blaze. But Blaze and too, Floyd, you know. Adam, Cherry Adam Floyd, Hunter. They're basically new characters, but they're not part of the. Cherry and Floyd, they're basically new characters to the Streets of Rage universe. No one's heard of them until now. Okay then, so pretty much they should, in, in my opinion, they should actually do it for for Eddie Skate, probably because they already did one for Adam, they already did one for Axel, already did one for Max, and. She, and Shiva in in the new DLC, so they should do one for for Eddie. Even then, and they also should do also should do one for um, Doctor Zen. Oh, Doctor Zen. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they show a, a, a picture of Doctor's hand in, in the uh, in the background for the Mr. X's nightmare. So that's probably really what he looks like. And all they have to do is make a cartoon version of him, give him fightable moves, uh, and then and then put him in the game. I don't and they did do um, I am the pictures, you know, concept art, because a YouTuber by the name of Major Player, or AKA Face, had a bunch of fans send him artwork of what they want Eddie Skate Hunter to look like. Or AKA Skate. And a lot of that fan artwork they, they put in looks pretty cool. I wouldn't know which one to pick if I was um, deciding myself, but it, it, it's interesting that they have that there. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the fan artwork? No. You gotta check it out next time. I mean, I don't like Street of Rage 4 that much because I never got used to the whole fighting combo shit. Especially in a beat em up. The first game I ever played that had fighting combos in it, when you're hitting somebody repeatedly in sort of a combo attack and you're getting a lot of hits in, were tournament fighting games like Street Fighter, Skullgirls. So seeing it in a beat em up, that's kind of new and unique, but it doesn't make the game better, it just makes the game different. And the thing about those, those two games, um, Street Fighter, I, I will be doing Street Fighter for a video, but it's, but it's only for Street Fighter 6. Uh, Skullgirls, I, I will also be doing that for a video too. So, pretty much, they'll see that sooner or later. Now, Street Fighter 6 is coming out for, for the new Xbox, so pretty much, it's, it, it's gonna be a long time before, before I ever do a video for that game. The Skullgirls, I can do that anytime I want. Well, that's true. I mean, that's easy to get nowadays. It's still available, and, and, and some of my other friends have recently bought that game, too. It's fun to play, and the, the hit combos in Skullgirls are easy to do. I mean, super easy. Not easy for me, but pretty much anybody who's played a fighting game can master them and do them real well. And me, I have a hard time doing that, even though they made it easy to do. Now, um, back to the Streets of Rage thing. Streets of Rage 4, or at least some of the other Streets of Rage, rank up in my top 10 um, games of beat-em-ups that I like. Like, there are other beat-em-ups that I like that are really good, and there's at least 10 of them I like more than anything else. Like, some of the games from the Capcom beat-em-up bundle, some of the games from Sega beat-em-ups, it's basically all of them. Like, when it comes to those uh, those companies that develop uh, beat-em-ups, there's Konami, there's Capcom, there's Sega, all three of those companies made really, really good beat-em-ups. Especially Konami. I mean, they, they did the arcade version of X-Men, the arcade version of The Simpsons, the arcade version of at least two Ninja Turtles games, and everybody loved those. And all of those had multiplayer to up to four people or more that you could play um, co-op in them. The problem is most of those games we'll never see again because because Konami um, doesn't own the rights to them so we'll never get them back. Especially since a lot of them were available as downloadables for the Xbox 360 years ago and now they've been taken off the market years ago so we don't see those games back anytime soon. With the new Ninja Turtles game coming out which is endorsed by Nickelodeon that's going to be another beat em up that we should do a video on because that is going to be freaking awesome. It's going to basically look like the old school arcade ver version from the 80s, but it's going to be mimicking the actual cartoon that took place back in 1987, which a lot of people used to watch. It's basically a kid's version from the Mirage comics because for people who don't know, Ninja Turtles was a very violent and bloody comic book back when it first came out. They had to tone it down and make it kid friendly for kids because they didn't want to show all that type of violence and bloodshed. But, you know, have you ever played a Ninja Turtles game? No. Would you 
like to? Not really, no. Uh, you don't know what you're missing out to. They are fun. And a lot of them that came out have been pretty good so far. In fact, out of all the fighting franchises that have pretty much let me down, Ninja Turtles is the only co company and franchise that's never disappointed me. I've been disappointed with fucking Saints Row, Streets of Rage, um, Tomb Raider, and, and a lot of other franchises that have released piss poor games lately. And, and me, I'm thinking, you know, the company's never learned from their fucking mistakes. They've released a lot of fucking games I don't like. And even though there's so many people still believing in those games, like, there's a lot of people still believing that they'll make a really good Saints Row sooner or later, I'm thinking those people should should just forget about wasting their time about that. And I'm hoping that if they do make uh, a Street of Rage 5, they better have, they better have online multiplayer to up to four people or more, dude. Because that's what I really want to see. If, if they make it available. Or if they make a new DLC that gives you the ability to play online multiplayer with up to four people, then that's something I'm going to spend money on. What about you? Uh, I don't really care for it that much. I don't I don't really mind it. It, it, yeah, I, I don't really mind it, it if they do or, or if they do put put multiplayer up to four people or they don't. I don't really mind it. True, but it would be nice to play with like four of our friends, and that would make a really cool uh, thing. Because right about now, the only online games we can play that are up to four people are only a few titles, and they don't they haven't made enough of them for Xbox One that we can actually enjoy. And some of those games you didn't even get yourself, or you were planning on getting for your PlayStation 4. So we don't even know if you're gonna get any of those for Xbox One anyway. I mean, for Bloody Zombies, I will, I, I will be doing that later after, like, I got like a, a few months after I, I, I may, I make a video for it for for PS4. But basically, every game that I get for PS4 that I don't have for Xbox One, I will buy on Xbox One so I can play it for my free time. Uh -huh. Well, all I gather now is like Bloody Zombies and Switch of Rage 4, in my opinion, have the same graphics. They basically look the same. I mean, Bloody Zombies backgrounds look a little bit more digital, not not cartoony, but the characters themselves look cartoony. Like they're like they they look a lot like the Streets of Rage characters. The only difference is the animation on how they fight and how they move is different than how they do it on Streets of Rage 4. Right about now. Those four, those four YouTube trailers, I mean those three YouTube trailers that we saw based on the new characters that are going to be available on Streets of Rage 4, which are not exactly new, but, but they're available, all of them have their own fighting techniques and moves that weren't even available back when we first played, played the game, the Streets of Rage 4 game. So they're going to have a whole new set of moves, and now it's all a question of who's going to master them and which one has the best moves. Now, for me, it's a cross between Estelle and Shiva. But I figure you, you'll probably play or enjoy using Max. Mm. So what do you think of that? Mm, pretty good. Look, I know you're not much into beat-em-ups, dude, but like I said, uh, a lot of them are available for the franchises, and, uh, and beat-em-ups are making a comeback because before they didn't have a lot of games and they didn't make beat-em-ups for a long, long time. I mean, let's face it, we, we've, been, we've been stuck for 20 years with games that were mostly tournament fighters. It was mostly Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, and those games created dozens of dozens of tournament fighting games that people played throughout the 90s and early 2000s. Finally, we get beat-em-ups, and we're finally getting more and more of them, which is pretty cool. There's got to be at least another 30 new set of beat-em-ups that are coming out for each and every console that's going to be available, including the new PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, and even going back to the Nintendo Switch, and 
a lot of the people are probably going to buy some of these old school games just to enjoy them. I mean, hell, the Castle Crashers fan club is still going strong to this day, and hardly nobody I know still plays Castle Crashers Remastered, but their fan sites are still holding out for, for like a new update or maybe a sequel. If, if, but if they wanted to, but I think it's, it's probably not going to go down that way because none of these people know how to get in touch with the developers of the franchise. If they did, they'd ask for a sequel. Honest with you, I don't, I don't hate beat 'em ups. Uh, to me, it has, it, it, it has always been this. I enjoy all games, all games, but. But the thing is, like, Mike, like you saw, you yeah, 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 like when you see like a trailer or gameplay of a game, like Roblox or Fortnite, anything like that. Now Fortnite, I know you played that because you told me that, but Roblox you haven't, and and you and, and you keep on telling me, hey, no, Roblox sucks. But once you play it, you might enjoy it or. Or it might be the like the same the, the same answer, and that's why and that's why for me I don't say that to games because 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 uh, once I play it I'll have I'll have my opinion of the game. True, but sometimes sometimes I've seen enough and I pretty much know what what the game is about, and once I get enough information. I pretty much make make my opinion. Now I've seen Roadblocks and it looks nice, but I don't like it because it's basically a Lego wannabe type game, at least from what I've seen. I mean it does have features that are not in certain Lego games, which probably make it better than your average Lego game. But since I don't like Lego games, period, I'm not into that. I mean if, if I want to play with a bunch of Legos, I'll buy some Lego toys, build my own Lego empire and play the toys in real life instead of just playing a video game where I'm controlling toys. It just doesn't make sense. That's why I think Roblox sucks. Because it's basically the same thing. It's, it's, it's a franchise copying a franchise. Now, I don't mind franchises copying franchises, but they have to give me a reason to want to play the game. And basically, from what I've seen, Roblox doesn't entice me to wanting to play it. I, I mean, weapons. Future Break 4, the reason I wanted to play it is because it came out, they worked on it, and it's a game that's been in development hell for over 26 years. And everybody wanted to, to you know, give up on the franchise. But a lot of beat-em-ups came out, and um, Future Break 4 is revitalizing the beat-em-up beat -up genre. It, even certain uh, classic games, that are being remade for newer systems. They got a lot of games that look like old school Nintendo games or old school Genesis games that everybody look at and thought, hey, this looks like something I remember playing back when I was a kid. Maybe I'll play this and see if I like it. See, with Roadblox, it doesn't look sentimental to anybody. It doesn't look like a game people want to play. Now, sure, people played it and they liked it, but I think the only reason they did it is because it was a free game, just like Fortnite. That's why games like um, Roadblocks, Fortnite, and even um, Rocket League, people play them a lot and they like them a lot. But those games, people only like them because they're free, not because they're good games. If those games weren't free, and they cost like $60 or $70 a pop. Do you really think somebody is going to actually get up, pay their hard-earned money to play some shitty-ass game they were barely going to enjoy for the next couple of months? Nowadays, when everybody logs in, nobody can afford to buy new games, and this is the shit they play. Now, as far as Streets of Rage 4 is concerned, um, I'm going to try to enjoy uh, the DLC, even though I pretty much played out the game to this point, and all I want is a sequel with a better story and more playable characters. And that's what I want for the next Streets of Rage game, if they make it. Mm -hmm. What about you? What would you like in a game 
or what would you want to see in a certain game or a franchise if they had something available that you might like? Uh, there's not that much games that I, uh, I just, I just don't really mind them, mind them what they do for it. Now, there is one yeah. game that I do not want it to happen, and they might do it. It's Central what Five. What? Central Five. Okay, we're back on the Central franchise thing, but... Um, I think people, I saw maybe about 200, uh, not 200, but 120 different videos of what everybody believes Central 5 is going to be like. And they came up with all different storylines, theory, if it returns back to its roots, what it was like for Central 1 and 2, then, then people might want to come back and buy it and play it. Because a lot of people don't like what they did with the whole Centro 4 and Get Out of Hell, which was kind of uh, not good. But, you know, it was still entertaining, and people played it, and they still had fun, and they spent their money, but they didn't like it because it wasn't like the original storyline. And that's something Volition kept fucking up on. Uh, why, you don't, why is it you don't want a Centro 5 to come out? No, it's not that, it's just that, it's just that, it's just... Well, I found out what might happen, I don't know if it will or not, is that they're gonna kill off the, the, the Third Street Saints. Yeah, we don't know if that's gonna be happening. I think a lot of people thought that that might be the next idea, but I don't really think it's gonna happen. I don't think they're really gonna kill off the Third Street Saints, and if they do, then if the Third Street Saints actually die, then not only will Central 5 be the next game, but it will be the final nail in the Central coffin. That means they won't make any more Central I games. Unless they make a Central game based on a whole new gang, and then it gets a whole new name, and then it will be a lot like Agents of Mayhem, not Central. Which is weird because even though Centro, even though Agents of Mayhem has nothing to do with Centro, it still takes place in the same universe. Like it's basically the future version of what the Saints would have became if Earth didn't blow up or whatever. Yeah. But I don't like the changes. A lot of my franchises made. Like I don't like what happened with Resident Evil or Tomb Raider or or, or or Streets of Rage or some of the other games I like because they got weird and weird and weird and it just it just didn't change to what I like in a franchise. Now, if people if people really want a new character like to come out for Streets of Rage Four then they better start uh, talking to the creators of Streets of Rage 4 and giving them ideas for Streets of Rage 5 so that way we can get some of our old captains back like Eddie and Dr. Van and, and then that's it and, and maybe some more people that we might like that would be good for the franchise um didn't you say that like uh, at, the, at the day after we made that that first video talking about the game didn't you say that you had more stuff and now is the now is the chance that you can can say that more stuff what for the dlc for streets of rage 4 mm -hmm. well so far i've seen all three trailers and i haven't seen anything new in these trailers everything that I've seen in this trailer, or pretty much, pretty much everything I knew was gonna come out. I knew that the three playable characters were gonna be Max, Shiva, and, and, and Estelle. Everybody knew that. Because everybody kept asking the company that created Streets of Rage 4, we want these three people as playable characters. And I pretty much knew that from the beginning they were gonna make them as, as playable characters. Some of the other stuff that they put in the game, like the new weapons, the new stages, the mixed Rex nightmare, the reappearance of Dr. Zan. 
Yeah, that's something that's new to me. I've never seen that before. So that's something that caught me off guard that I didn't know anything about. But it still doesn't make me like the DLC. And the only reason I'm gonna buy it is not so I can play Mr. Mess the Action Nightmare, but so I can play as the three new characters to see how much fun I can have with them. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna get it. I mean I will. I mean, I don't I don't know because like I didn't see you buy Streets of Rage 4. I mean you I, I think you mostly rented it from Game Pass. So I don't know if you actually own the game. But you know, most of the people who did play it, well, I guess they were lucky because it was available on Game Pass. No. Is that it? Yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Alright. I don't need weapons. I am See ya. See ya.